combine here. Talk about how the, the event has grown in the last, like, five, ten years or so. Yeah, it, it's grown uh, since I've been in the league, and now there's uh, national coverage, uh, ESPN here, and uh, looking at everything. And it's exciting because you put a lot of hard work and effort all year, and now you get to see the kids up close, you get to interview them, and then you see them in summer leagues, and people say, oh, we made the good pick or we didn't. But I think it takes, like, a three-year uh, test to see if the kid's going to make it in the NBA. At this point in the process, is this, like, do you ever get surprised? Is, do you ever get blown away? Or do you have, do you have done enough homework to know what you're, you're getting? Well, I, it, the um, Chicago pre-draft camp is just a piece that we look at. Uh, we're looking at a statistical piece. We're looking at the body of work that we've seen and scouts have been out there with their own eyes. And then we look at a ton of tape, background checks, uh, with coaches in their league, their own coaches, uh, background checks on who they are off the court, and then doing psych tests. So we put a lot of effort. There's a lot of money put in there uh, to hopefully get the right guy. And what Toronto has done under Brian is to try to put talented players but with good character. And that is huge that you have a good character and high basketball IQ. The interview process, big part of the big part of the process, you get to the first time get a, a look at who this, the players are and, and what type of personality that they might have. Talk about that part of the, the, the whole process and, and how much weight it does have in, in the entire scheme of things. Well, the interview process is important. You get to know the kid on more of a casual basis. You get to see how the kid handles himself. And I'm using the word kid because they are kids. You know, 19 years old, 20, 21. The older men, the older young men, handle themselves a little bit better than maybe the 19-year-old. So it's interesting the questions we ask, uh, the things they say. They and but they're all trying to do their best. Uh, the other thing is it's a, it's a job interview. And should they come in a job interview with a shirt and tie on and a coat? Or how do they present themselves and how do they handle the questions we ask um, is it, a big thing. And some kids, wow, it's, it's unbelievable. And other kids, because of their age, maybe not as good. The age slot. Um, a lot has been made about the knee at three. Yeah. Um, obviously, there's always that, that question of best player available or, or needs. What type of... What type of players are going to be available at 18? And who you well, I think where the Raptors are today, we need more depth. So, you know, when you say the best player available, the most talented player, uh, is the player most ready? Uh, you have to look at all those things. Um, we would like, if it was a perfect world and there was a three sitting out there, maybe that's the guy we pick. So we have to see in this draft, uh, after we do all our homework, which we're putting it all together, and it's coming together, and you're narrowing down a list of players uh, who fits our culture the best, under which Dwayne Casey has done a good job changing, who fits that, who could help us. And, um, you know, I don't think you, you – right, right now we couldn't tell you is it going to be a 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. Uh, but we know we have Valen Junis coming over, so I would say it won't be that 5-man. Uh, 